Hi, in this video we're going to create an animated grass field using the multicloner object and the multiflora. The multicloner is a scattering object that scatters instances over a distribution surface. In this case the distribution surface is a plane and it can be any surface, any polygonal geometry. The multiflora, here we have three multiflora objects which are three animated uh, plant objects, in this case they are grass, and um, combining the multicloner with the animated multiflora, we can create an animated grass field very easily. So we're going to start this from scratch, going through the steps and ending up with a result like this one. First, what we want to do is create the distribution geometry. In this case, I'll just use a regular plane. You can scale it, you can deform it, you can do whatever you want with it. And um, I'm going to create a multicloner object and one multiflora object for now. And I'll parent the multiflora under the multicloner. The multiflora is the plant geometry and the multicloner is the um, cloning object that will scatter the different multiflora objects over the distribution geometry. I'll move the grass object out of the way. What I want to do with the multicloner is uh, set the plane as my distribution geometry. So I'll just drag the plane under distribution geometry and by default I get a bunch of points. I'm gonna lock the selection to the multicloner the moment I deselect it, the points disappear. If I want them to stay visible, I can just choose keep points visible so they will stay visible while the multicloner object is not selected. It doesn't really matter though in this case because I'm going to uncheck display points to see the geometry distributed like so. So I'm just going to add a temporary material to be able to see the different um, grass objects different than the distribution geometry color. Of course, if I press play now, nothing's going to happen because I have no animation set for the grass geometry. If I selected my grass geometry, I can go to the hyperwind section and here I can check wind on. And the moment I check wind on, I'm going to see that the grass is um, getting animated. Now I'm gonna go back to the multi-cloner and here I'm gonna go down to distribution type and under distribute on I'm gonna change from distribute on geometry to distribute on polygons. What this will do is uh, distribute the multi-flora objects onto the polygons of the plane. So if you had say 10 by 10 segments we're gonna have less and so forth. So if I press play now again, I'm going to see that the animation is propagated over all the instance objects. So if I go back to selecting the multi cloner, I'm going to scroll down to where I have the turbulence rotation. If I set this to zero, I'm going to see that all the instance copies will actually rotate with the same direction. Turbolizing the rotation in Y will actually give them different directions according to a very important parameter which is the turbulence scale. So I'm going to exaggerate this. If I do exaggerate it, it means that the rotation difference can be 1000 degrees. Remembering that every 360 degrees are one full rotation. So if I set it to 360, it means that the maximum rotation displacement is one full rotation. So we can change the rotation amount, but we can also change the turbulence scale. Now, what is the turbulence scale? To see the turbulence scale properly, I'm going to set my rotation to 180 degrees. And here we start to see a pattern. So the pattern is visible, which is the rotation of the um, grass objects and this rotation is following a noise function and this noise function has a scale which is the turbulence scale. If I increase the scale then this pattern is going to increase and therefore more and more grass objects are going to have something close to the same rotation.
If, on the other hand, I decrease the scale value, it means that the distribution difference is smaller in scale, and therefore I'm going to get more difference between them. If I set it to 50, now the rotation is um, barely visible. There is no visible pattern um, over here. This also adapts to the turbulized size. So if I turbulize the size, you can clearly see the scale of the turbulence coming into play. So if I actually increase this, you see that a larger chunk has a smaller scale or a smaller size, while also a large chunk has a bigger size. So this has a direct impact on the rotation and on the size turbulization. So I'm going to regain a size of zero for the turbulence, and I'm going to set the scale to 50 to create more randomness. I want to create even more randomness, and for this I'm going to work on the grass geometry. And uh, I'll turn off the multi-cloner for now, so that way I'll just have the grass geometry being animated. So I'm going to select the multi-flora, and here I'm going to go to hyperwind, and I see that the wind is a bit too strong. First, I have wind options for grass, for the stems, which I don't have yet, for blades and um, other stuff, which I can control individually. For now, I just have grass, so this is the grass wind section that I need to concern myself with. And also, since we only have grass, I can just work with the global values here, and they will apply to the grass. In case I had other elements like stems, leaves, blades, I would need to um, work on them individually and uh, affect them globally with the global values that we have over here. Okay, so um, the first thing I want to do is um, reduce the strength. So that's the wind global multiplier. I'm going to set it to 0.5 and uh, now I have less uh, violent wind. I can play with the speed as well, say 0.25, so now the wind is um, slower, 0.1, I'm going to have really slow wind. If I go down to the um, grass wind, I have more options. For example, the grass wind direction, if I increase it, then the direction is going to be stronger than the wavy wind, and therefore I'm going to get something like this. If I increase the waviness, I'm going to get grass that looks like this. Okay, so uh, what I want to do is actually have more than one grass patch. Not just one, because this will add more variation to the um, scattering. To do that, I'm going to go to grass, and here I'm going to increase the grass node count, say, to 5. And I will reduce the grass per node count, say, to 10. You can leave it high if you want, but now I'm going to reduce it because I'm going to have more than one grass patch. Now, it doesn't look like we do have more than one grass patch, and that's because the grass patch radius is set to zero. So the moment you increase that, you're going to see that you have actually five patches. Let's set the node count per patch to 15. So now if you press play, we see that the um, grass elements are animated, and they don't have the same wind animation, which is um, natural. Each blade is animated slightly differently than the other. Now, we're going to go back to the hyperwind, and here we're going to play with the modulate wind by noise. What this will do is actually um, change the noise strength along the distribution or along the different grass blades. So if I increase this value all the way up to 1, I'm going to see that some um, grass elements will be animated while others won't be. And this has to do as well with the noise scale. So if I reduce the scale, we see this effect. Uh, because we have a small surface, it's not a large surface, the scale needs to be lowered down. I can even go down to a value of 1, and here I clearly see that some uh, grass blades are more animated than others. So let's go to, say, 3. So here, so here we see that these blades have a stronger animation than these. If I wanted to change this or create the simulation of wind passing through, so moving from one set of blades to the other, I would play with the noise phase. So for example, what I can do is set a keyframe for the noise phase, 
and go to 90 and set the phase say to 10 set another keyframe and press play and here I will see that the wind is actually moving from one side of the grass patch to the other I can increase the um, noise scale to make this transition smoother all right so yeah this is very nice here